You can do it! Hello all you wonderful people. Right now I'm coming from Ikeda City, which is actually a little north of Osaka. And their mascot here, their like icon, is a wombat. And they're not just crazy about it, they're absolutely wild for it. Literally, you cannot escape the wombats. With all these wombats adorning the streets, it's no surprise they actually have a zoo that's completely free. I'm gonna guess that it's all filled with wombats. I just wish I knew the way to go. Oh, just go this way. Well, hope you know Japanese if you wanna find this thing. Cause it's up this way right here. You know it because there are giant boots left by bigger people than I and of course a shrine. It's a bit weird. You know where you are? You're on the jungle, baby. Welcome to jungle. We got fun and games. My boys can't do that voice anymore. They've done names. And this is the entrance to the zoo. You can see they have wombats here, no dogs, and this is all free. Oh, where's their pride and joy? Oh, I see one right over there, hanging out in the shade, taking a siesta. This pig here is grazing. Brazen grazing. Little bunny rabbits. Me and Yagi's over here are goats as they call them. We go far back, all the way back to Disneyland. Boy. Hello, Mr. Goat. Yeah, that's right. You, you tell him. Oh, wallabies. Joke. I wonder if one of these would be named Rocco. Of course, that reference would be lost here. These things always look so upset, and they look like they always want to kill you, or they're up to something. Look at this one. Look at its eyes. It's saying, I want to kill you. I'm coming, I'm, I'm figuring out a way to murder you. And then the other one sneaks up on you and attacks you. That's what you don't see coming. Old alpacas, oh, he just snotted over that woman. Listen, it's called my feelings. Please just leave me, don't touch me, okay? Listen, I just wanna be alone. If you wanna see the horses here, don't throw them the carrots, they won't know what to do, but try not to offer their children to the horse. They just won't know what's going on. Offer me your children. Wow, for free? That wasn't so bad. But there is one place in the city I really want to take you guys to. I've been there before, but I want to take a quick glimpse because I got a little bit of time because I've got a date with Asahi after this. I love this little riverway that you can actually step over if you were so brave. In America, they call that a lawsuit waiting to happen. They even have a tribute to Harambe. May he never be forgotten. That's right. The Instant Ramen Museum, where they proudly display a man who made the instant ramen on the top of a cup of noodles. Last time I was here, I made my own cup of noodles too, and I thought, you know, this is a lot like Willy Wonka's factory. Who knew I'd see the actual factory? And you know, I'd love to tour it again, but unfortunately I'm going to the Asahi Beer Company to see how they make Asahi beer. So if you want to see more on this museum, please click the link right here. Why yes, demon child. This is a cup of noodles. Wow, I had no idea that they would advertise towards Canadians here. After a short ride on the train, I'm in Suita, which is a non-nuclear peace city. And this is home to Asahi Beer Company, one of the largest distributors of beer and also soft drinks in Japan. It's one of those companies that you can say they own everything. You'd only see brick buildings, only in places that are pretty old. And lo and behold, there is the visitor center for the Sahi Beer Corporation. This thing is moving, it's like a weather vane, wow. Oh, it is a weather vane. Oh, I know where the wind's blowing now. I went to the one that bottled soft drinks. I'm excited to see the one that bottles beer. Some of the original wall here from the original factory. Since 1889. This place looks like Disneyland for drunks. Upon seeing the drinking area, I already love this place. Like every tour, it starts with a show.
So this is the first picture that they had when they first made the beer. Actually, the owner of this this factory went to Germany, saw what they did, and came back here, made the first modern beer, brewery in Japan. This is where they ferment the beer, and it goes into its giant tanks. The plant itself is actually four times the size of the stadium that I went to to see the baseball game in. These are where the luckiest people in the world work. They actually drink the beer for testing. In one minute, this machine can bottle all these beers. If you try to drink one beer out of this every day, it would take you 4,000 years to finish it all. Let's see if I can't find my favorite crappy American beer. And there it is right there. Pat's Boot and PBR. And now comes the best part of the tour. Free beer for 20 minutes. This is a super dry beer. Normally the glasses cost about five dollars. Oh yeah. It's good, it's free. They give you three beers and you have to drink it in 20 minutes. Not really much of a challenge, but man, that's an awesome way to end a tour. I wish all tour tours ended like this. It'd be a happy camper. So these people here enjoying the first taste of their distilled beer from this brewery back in 1891. I have experienced both this amazing brewery that was like one of the first breweries in Japan and also a city that really likes wombats, like loves wombats. So with that, I can say you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. You guys stay groovy, have a wonderful day and uh, cheers. There's no beer in this, but if there was, it would go over the floor and I'd get in trouble and I'd have to go, oh, what a, another fine mess you got me into. Oh.